But for 2024, we decided that it would be great to have uh, the calendar with uh, writers who are serving in the armed forces. And when we started collecting the list, it appeared that it's a huge one, and there are more than 80 people who are either poets or adult writers or children books writers. And then we think we thought that it would be great to represent as much as possible authors. And uh, thus, uh, we came with an idea that the calendar will be 53 pages, uh, so to show like per week uh, every uh, author. And um, uh, in fact, it's a uh, two languages, both Ukrainian and English, because we want to make uh, them known uh, abroad. And all the photos are provided uh, by uh, the writers themselves. So these are the original photos from their life. So they <clears throat> change their writing table to, uh, to the trenches, uh, to different uh, places, which sometimes we cannot even explain. But also it's great that some of them um, um, gave us photos with animals, and which shows that this kindness, this vivality is really present, uh, present there. And uh, in fact, uh, the photos are, all of them are different and uh, you cannot choose one which is the best because all of them are lovely and we believe and also the women uh, went to the army um, as well and they're represented here and with uh, all of these photos uh, you see that every day you are reminded that people who have this huge talent of describing reality through books they are now serving in in the armed forces i believe uh, that uh, literature uh, can be also a weapon and and we know from the history that Russia have, um, has been investing in, um, in literature and uh, in being visible and her voices heard all around the world for many centuries. And Ukrainian authors were considered uh, like not uh, the first line authors. And thus, um, for us, it's very important that the Ukrainian voices uh, are heard because we have our own story to tell and uh, it's really important to uh, have those uh, authors uh, translated and uh, to for the great uh, for the general audience to know that Ukraine has not only one two or three authors but in fact in this calendar we have 53 authors with photos and 30 plus uh, just the list of the names uh, whom we could not include or some of them could not provide the photos because of, of them serving in the, the units where they cannot show uh, their faces. And uh, what they have to do to, to tell to the world is of great importance, I believe, because they know how the reality looks like both uh, from the point of view of an author who can tell a story, but also from a person who saw uh, war with the, his or her own eyes. And you see, but all of them, uh, most of them are smiling, and for me it brings hope. Some of them are, were made uh, in winter, you, uh, you see, and also um, some of them uh, were uh, taken uh, with uh, animals. In fact, there were a lot of, uh, of um, photos with animals, and I believe that uh, this is what uh, makes uh, them feel uh, more at home. That's my feeling. But uh, also some... Um, some of the photos uh, were of a very poor quality because they were taken on uh, just on, on the photo, uh, on the phone, and they were saying, "We didn't make a lot of photos, but uh, yes, it's great to be remembered uh, and uh, for the history. Some, you know, were taken uh, for uh, the um, for, uh, for, by the photographers, um, and uh, this is a um, uh, Vasil Mulik. He is a pilot of a helicopter." Uh, and uh, so one of the journalists asked him to make a, a photo uh, in, in the studio. So uh, it's uh, almost one of the photos which we have uh, a specialized one. And also a poet, Vashibab. Uh, and here is the list. You can see how long the list is of those who were not included with the photos. And unfortunately, we have a page uh, which is dedicated to the authors uh, who were already killed during the war uh, in Ukraine. And so we sincerely hope that uh, with this we will remind people on an everyday basis uh, that uh, Ukraine is paying huge, uh, huge price.